Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block and I am back. I know I haven't made a video in about three weeks, but that's just, just because I've been buried under a mountain of schoolwork. I have AP tests coming up this week and then week after, so uh, April's been a pretty rough month. Junior year in high school is the worst ever, but I'm planning on making a lot more videos in the future. Now, this is my uh, little reaction video on the Chelsea Liverpool game today. Um, there really wasn't much positive to react to. It was just completely uninspiring display. Uh, lifeless Liverpool, as the commentators were calling them, and that is a name that is uh, deserved, I guess, for Liverpool. Uh, I guess the only positive, the only positive you could at all draw out of today's game, even though they gave up two goals, was the fact that Pepe Reina has far and away been this year's team MVP. Time after time after time. Oh, like... He just makes such great saves, and honestly, without him, I don't even want to imagine where Liverpool would be right now. Right now, they're in 7th place, and who uh, they'd probably be closer to ninth or 10th without Pepe Reina. He's just been the most consistent player in Liverpool, week in and week out. The only guy that you can count on to never make any stupid mistakes, and always have a solid game. So, hats off to Pepe, and um, well, I guess he'll be back next year. But in terms of who's going to be back next year and who's not going to be back, I know Rafa might walk out after this game and uh, go to Juventus. I don't know. Um, I tend not to believe the rumor mills just because I think that English papers make up rumors all the time just to sell their papers. But this one seems pretty pretty legit to me. I mean, he, he didn't confirm it, but he hinted at it this morning that he was actually going to make the switch to Juventus. I don't know, remember the exact quote, but you could probably find it on the internet. I'll put a link in the sidebar about all the Rafa stories. Um, yeah, so looking to the future, I'm not going to address that in this video. I'll make a video next week after the whole City game. I'll make a Liverpool you know, recap video, what to look for in the future. But as far as this game goes, again, the back four is just a problem throughout the game. They're just confused. Uh, Soto, Carragher, Mascherano, it makes you right back. He, and um, Agger, just, they, they had a terrible game. They weren't working together. Um, and uh, especially that, that on the uh, on the Lampard goal where Anelka was played on side by Mascherano, that was just the, the epitome of how confused the back four were. They, they weren't in line with each other. Mascherano just, I guess, wasn't paying attention and allowed an could be play on side even though everybody else seemed to be um, playing him uh, an Elka offside and uh, just not good <laughs> I don't really know what to say they were just dominating throughout um, Gerard who's supposed to be our inspiring captain the Colossus in the center of the pitch supposed to inspire his team to victory Hardly that. He costed us a goal with that sloppy, sloppy back pass to Reyna, which Drogba intercepted. And after that, you know, that was kind of the game after that. We didn't have a shot on goal until I think, like, extra time jerk out. Just a terrible, terrible game. One of the most uninspired displays of all time. And I just hated the fact that the Chelsea fans were louder than the Liverpool fans at Anfield of all places. Um... I was really hoping win or lose, we would cheer our team. Uh, talk. Yeah, I was really hoping win or lose, um, the cop would cheer our team on, sing Rafa's name, try to get him to stay. I don't know. But this performance didn't deserve any cheering whatsoever. No pride. You could tell that Liverpool was a team that had nothing to play for. They came out like that, and it's reflect reflected in the scoreline as well as the standings. So, um,. That was kind of the game. As far as into the future, for me, I'm going to make a Liverpool um, video next week after the whole City game. Um, maybe Rafa's future will be decided by then. I don't know. But I'm actually planning on making a 32-part video series leading up to the World Cup. I'm going to film all that stuff next weekend. And every single day from 32 days to the World Cup, I'm going to, make a, I'm going to be uploading a new video. Starting with... Um, the team I think least likely to win the World Cup, and then going all the way down to the day before the World Cup, with the team most likely I think is going to win the World Cup. So it's going to be counting. It's going to be counting down 32 to one on teams I think who are most likely to win the World Cup. Um, look out for that. That's all today for today for JLB Sports TV. I'm Justin Block, YNWA. Keep the faith. 